Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Warframe and uh, as I said to you before, I promised apparently this is your, uh, what we call that Railjack ride and uh, I'm currently I'm doing a skirmish mission in, I'm in between a skirmish mission or skirmish, whatever, whatever you want to pronounce it or call it and uh, the Warframe which you are watching right now is Hildren Prime and yes, it's mine <laughs> Anyways, Helen Prime is actually quite good Warframe and uh, it has four, four abilities, two of which are useless, two of which are pretty pretty useful and uh, village and uh, stuff like that. So the second ability, first of, first of all she has a, a weapon of, of her own, um, an exalted weapon like, uh, like Excalibur and uh, she basically can... Uh, use that on expense of her shields so she doesn't have any energy whatsoever she has only shields which she uses as energy sorry about that um, I think somebody dropped something in the kitchen <laughs> damn it anyways as I was saying so she uses her shield instead of her energy and uh, when we use Exalted Blade, or oh, sorry, not Exalted Blade, that's uh, Excalibur's weapon. Her Exalted Weapon, the the gun which she has, she basically consumes her energy, or shield, sorry, her energy. And uh, she can use to her shields with the, uh, with use, uh, with the help of uh, energy orbs, which normal Warframes or other Warframes are incapable of. And uh, her fourth ability allows us to basically simply what do we call that um steal or make a pool of orbs uh, energy orbs and health orbs out of the enemies which are in front of us and um, her second ability or third ability sorry first of all third ability allows us to simply when it activated it simply damages nearby enemies um up to up to a certain degree and uh, you can increase that effect or i increase that effect I'm trying to increase that effect with the help of uh, um, intensity, umbral intensity, intensity because I don't have primary intensity. I might get it uh, once I get enough ducats. Ducats are an um, Orokin currency which you can use to buy stuff from Barokitir. It comes at Larnarile at, um, I think it, it's, it's at, at the, at the night time in our country, I mean, in my country. Um, I don't know about other countries. So he comes at Friday evening, or maybe he stays there at for for whole Friday. And uh, he has some pretty cool stuff. You can you need cats and uh, um, credits in order to get that stuff. A lot of credits. So you better mine them or farm them from the index. If you don't know about index, I'll make a video on that soon. So feel free to. Subscribe the channel, click the bell icon so that you know, don't miss any future updates. Also, leave a like and comment at the. Oh, I mean, leave a like and uh, comment. And uh, man, I stuck there a lot. Anyways, if you heard anything behind me? Just fucking ignore it. I'm from about the language. <laughs> Anyways, um, so currently, in this skirmish mission, we simply have to. Uh, what do we call it? Hijack and sabotage crew ships of Grenier and simply obliterate them out of existence kaboom right and uh, <clears throat> sorry and uh, it's necessary to do because um, obviously obviously it's um, we have to do that and soon I'll be uploading uh, what we call that um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order I had told you before that about that um, maybe maybe and uh, with Warframe regarding Octavia's Anthem full video will be uploaded tomorrow uh, of Octavia's Anthem and uh, I have completed all the parts of of um, the real uh, sorry not, not the real jacket the Vodrick and um, they will take um, they'll be ready by tomorrow and then I'll start the whole build um, it will take uh, 72 hours from there so next three days will be like a waiting kind of thing for me and it, I don't like that but 
I have to wait in order to start the end war and uh, in order to complete my void rig and start the end war. And uh, you might ask why we need these things, the void rig and the and the real jack. You might you'll understand soon once we start it. So yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it I guess. Also, I think I have completed I think I've completed the um, Archwing segment, the launch segment, and uh, the Archwing would be built, uh, built, I'll build it tomorrow, I mean, I have to obviously claim the Archwing segment in order to build that thing, and um, it'll happen soon, it'll happen soon, so I'll be soaring in the skies of Plains of Eidolon, and uh, in, in the demos, Heart of Demos, and uh, in the Ob Valleys, so it's going to be a lot of fun while doing that, and uh, yeah. Okay, so we basically have to, in some in some cases, we have to destroy reactors, and that's it. That's about it. And in some cases, we have to like do this, and then uh, destroy a certain. Certain fuel cells or something like that. It it varies, I think. Um, I haven't done them very often. I only do them when I need something very, very urgently, like titanium and stuff like that. ISOs. I actually needed ISOs that while I'm doing this mission, but uh, obviously I'm posting this um, a little ahead in the time. No, no, sorry, another head. A late, sorry, a little bit late. I guess that was it for this ship. Okay, guys, um, you just keep on watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment. And also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. Soon I'll be uploading uh, Star Wars Did I the Fallen Order. And uh, so stay tuned to watch that as well. Plus, uh, we are actually quite close to the um, GTA 5, and uh, we'll complete that soon, it's very soon. And after that, we'll start Borderlands 3, inshallah. So, yeah, that's about it for today, for this video. Uh, keep watching until the end, and I'll catch you in the next one. And also, stay safe out there, and see ya.
The pulse turbine is still. Enemy forces are destabilized. They are unused to meeting an enemy on 